As of 2009, the Catholic Church has stood firm on its doctrine of not ordaining women into the priesthood. This should be a source of considerable shame for Christians everywhere. How can the Catholics be getting something right while so many genuine Bible-believing Christian denominations are going astray? What a sad reflection on the overall health of the body of Christ. Lest you think this isn't a problem, consider the following high-profile women in ministry. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. The scriptural prohibition against women in priesthood or in a ministry role is so straightforward that it shouldn't be necessary to make a video on the subject. However, thanks to the ongoing efforts of scriptural revisionists, I believe the point should be addressed. Not because scripture isn't crystal clear on the point, but to illustrate the broader point of how many so-called Christians contort the Word of God to suit their own ends. First of all, is there any ambiguity as to the teaching of the Word of God on the subject? Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Here, the Apostle Paul couldn't have spelled it out any more plainly. How, then, can anyone argue that the Bible supports female ministry? Here is the kind of argument that you will often hear in support of the notion. The Bible's teaching on women in church was actually revolutionary because prior to Paul's writings, women weren't even allowed in church. To address the issue of women in church at all was a radical act. But because women hadn't been involved in religion for so long, they weren't equipped to fulfill teaching roles within the church. So what Paul is actually saying is that women should be instructed first at home by their husbands so that they can teach the Word of God capably and intelligently. This illustrates the danger of placing the Bible in its historical context in order to change the plain meaning of the text. Paul's words on the subject couldn't be more explicit. It is wrong for women to speak in church. Paul isn't just referring to women teaching, he's prohibiting them to speak at all, even to ask questions. The Bible makes it unmistakably clear that a woman's role is subordinate to that of the man. Does this mean that women are inferior to men? Of course not. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Women are not inferior to men. They simply play a different role in the body of Christ. And that role does not include speaking in church, much less leading a ministry. I am the pastor of a small Bible-believing congregation in the Midwest, and believe me, there are plenty of women who enjoy attending our services to become edified in the Word and the Spirit of the Lord. And if this seems strange to you, it is most likely because you do not understand the effect that a genuine born-again experience can have on the human heart. This is Pastor Ronald Cody of Glorified Truth Productions. Please pray for the right divination of the Word of God. God bless you, and thank you for watching this video.